Yo, what's up, Funky Fam? Control and Demon Hunter. Those are two words you don't hear often put together, but today I have a pretty spicy Control Demon Hunter list for you. If you guys want to skip straight to the gameplay, there should be a timestamp down below in the description. I've just been tearing up ladder with this deck. I think currently I'm like nine and four with this right now. Uh, Diamond three rank. Okay, so this list is pretty cool. Uh, it is a control deck, but we are kind of like an aggressive control deck. There's a lot of really powerful attack cards in here, um, like Marrow Slicer, Twin Slice, Chaos Strike, the new Soul Shard, Lapidary, etc. So we can push a ton of damage with this, even though we are controlled. This deck uses the new Soul Fragment package, which is pretty cool. So we have the Spirit Jailers, the Soul Shears, the Shard Shatter Mystics, the Soul Shard Lapidaries, etc., the Soul Archaeologist Militia. So with the new Soul Fragments, in addition to the Aldrachi Warblade, Blades, we have a ton of healing in this deck. Now, naturally, Soul Fragments fit better into control decks just because the longer the game goes on, the more you're going to draw into those Soul Fragments. But there's a couple of really cool cards in here, and especially some of the newer cards that I really, really want to show off. One of my favorite cards in here that was actually kind of surprising in how it worked is a star student Stalina. She is a great tool to disrupt your opponent, whether it be against aggro decks like aggro rogue to take out their secret passage and disrupt their uh, card draw, or whether against other control decks so you can go ahead and take out their removal in hand. And in control decks, the outcast is actually not that hard to activate because the longer the game goes on, the more you're casting cards from your hand. Same thing with Skull of Gul'dan. I mean, oftentimes you're not gonna play it on six. Sometimes you want to, sometimes not but the games are going to go on so long that when you actually want refill chances are you've already cycled through enough cards in your hand that skull of Gul'dan is on the leftmost side anyways and then one of my favorite cards in here is Soulkeologist militia she is insanely good and wait for it the kicker we got mag paradon in here this card is actually more than just a meme um, because in Demon Hunter, we lack a lot of hard board clears. We have a lot of cheap board clears. There's the Chaos Nova, Immolation Orias, Blade Dances, but we don't have any hard board clears. So especially with the Shard Shatter Mystic, you can play a Meg Theradon and then play Shard Shatter Mystic right afterwards to clear those one threes, clearing your opponent's board and getting a 12-12 in the process, all for seven mana. Now with this deck, there is a little bit of a skill cap in how you manage your soul fragments. Sometimes you actually have to manage whether or not to use the Soul Shard Lapidary to destroy that fragment or the Shard Shatter Mystic to destroy that fragment. Sometimes you only have one or two fragments in the deck and you really want to make use of your Soul Archaeologist Militia. So you might not want to go ahead and destroy those fragments until after you Militia. Yeah, all in all, I've been having a blast at this deck. I hope you guys have a blast at this deck on ladder as well. But let me know what you guys think of this deck down below in the comments. And also let me know what other decks in the future you'd like to see me build and play. And if you guys are obsessed as much as I am about off meta decks, then smash that subscribe button down below too, because I post daily off meta decks right here on YouTube. But for now, enjoy the gameplay. Thanks for watching. Stay funky. Okay, so against a priest. How do we beat priest? How do we beat priest? I think we want to go for like our big win conditions, right? Mag Theradon, Soulkeologist, stuff like that. So we keep these two things. Um, against priest, we want to be the aggressor. So we're kind of a control deck against priest. Um, but we do have a lot of threats here. We have these lapidaries for damage. We have militias. We have Mag Theradon. Um, we could also, like, if we happen to get, like, a star student, Stalina. Do I care about this dude? Maybe. I mean, any minion on his side of the board is a threat because of Apotheosis and whatnot, right? I watch you, Warshak, and Dexter. Hey, Three best streamers. <laughs> Now, yeah, I, I, I watch a lot of those uh, other streamers too, Warshak and Dexter. Yeah, those are some great streamers, great content creators, great YouTubers as well. But man, being watched. You've got me fired up. Is he gonna cast a spell? Nope. Okay, cool. Hmm. 
Do I ever coin out this marrow slicer? Oh, that's... Uh, I hate doing this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't want to. But I'm going to do it. You're just saying that's sloth. <laughs> All off meta deck creators, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Off meta deck creators represent. Um... like that i mean he might heal it so that's why i wanted to kind of bump it but we we are going to coin out this uh skull gildan for sure we do have soul four soul fragments in the deck so hopefully we don't hit too many of them with the skull because that does lose our discount on them kill it kill it all <laughs> yo what's up jace how you doing Ooh, Sokiologist. All right, all right. Um, I mean, this is actually not a bad Chaos Nova here. Shoot. I don't really want to coin this out now. <laughs> uh, I guess I just Chaos Nova this. This is just too good. We'll keep our weapon. Could get him down to 17. Probably not going to want a weapon next turn. I mean, I could draw an Aldrachi Warblades. In that case, I would like to re-equip it, like, right away. Or we could draw our other Marrow Slicer, maybe coin it out as well. Yeah. So let's go ahead and hit, I suppose. <laughs> the new expansion changed a full one card in your deck. Oh, wow. A whole one card. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Worth it. Doing fine. Bit warm here in North Germany. Now let's go skull skull gold in here if he wants to like grave rune this or whatever or apotheosis like i do have the silence so no the soul frag no no shoot i definitely would want the discount on that i guess for now i'm just doing this so militia basically gets me a full board right now Gift of Luminance, okay. Oh, that's gross. Alright, alright. But because these guys have two attack. Oh shoot, oh shoot, no, 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 I can't kill this guy. Because this guy is talented and getting in the way. All right, this works though. Um, all right, so am I gonna sightless watcher for anything now? Yeah, I mean our hand is getting kind of empty, so. Ooh, make there an ooh skull of Goldan. Oh, I I just skull right, hundred percent skull. <laughs> the tour guide is kind of nice. Yeah, tour guide and any like quest shaman would be pretty cool. Yo, Bellyhead. Yo, how's it going, Bellyhead? What's up, what's up? Well, yes, that's North Germany below Scandinavia. Yeah, but it's usually not very warm here. And it rains a lot. Uh, like England. <laughs> oh, wow. Skull of Gul'dan. Cool. What are the odds that we just top decked Skull of Gul'dan? <laughs> okay, all right. All these are playable, sweet. That's not bad. Gosh, we have so many soul fragments in our deck. <laughs> Woo. Oh boy. Okay, am I attacking? I mean, I do have the marrow slicer. I don't really need the health against priest. I think I actually am attacking here. Need to push some damage, make room for this marrow slicer. Southern parts of Germany, Bern, for example, are usually much hotter. Ah, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Like, in the same country, you get, you know, to experience the hot parts and cold parts. You know, kind of like the United States, you know. That's why I like the United States so well, so much as well, too. You get experience basically everything all in one country. Such a beautiful 
And then I think I do want to push all this damage face here. But I also want to push eight damage face too. <laughs> I like pushing eight damage face. Ooh, dude, half cool. That'd be good. Reno Shaman, you could make it a thing. Okay, so Morg Immolation Aura doesn't really do anything here. Oh, the Star Student. Uh, maybe it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll let him bump into this. That's okay. Um, oh my gosh, Graverin or Lucia? No, because he's going to play out my hand. He's going to take this Marrow Slicer. Yeah. See ya. Would it want to be ya? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I could have done that first, but I mean, he has two grave, rune, grave runes in hand. So it doesn't matter if this is damaged. Sometimes all in one place. I went camping this weekend in the mountains. 90 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 40 at night. Oh my gosh, dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Wait, oh, he had two Alushas. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So he didn't have two grave runes, he had two Alushas. All right. Okay. Mm, so I invoke his Galakrond for him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is actually really good. All right, play, get a one mana cost thing so I can just play it out. Ah. Oh, okay, this is actually insane. That was so good. He can't uh, death it. So on his next turn, what, he's gonna Eon Reaver? Then I got two of them back. Oh, okay, let's just go face. <laughs> All right, that was actually pretty good for us. Thank you. Thank you for that. I hate priests so much, yeah. Yeah, priests could do some pretty crazy things. It's annoying because they always play with your cards and they always do it better. Oh! Are you fucking serious? He top decked the freaking Galakrons? Out of 15 cards left in his deck, he top decked the Galakrons. <sighs> well, what can you do? What can you do? Okay, I mean, we almost got him. We almost got him. We know he has a uh, death in hand. Um, so the death is going to kill the 5-5. Five five. Does he have a way of killing the 4-2, though? I still need to find two damage, though. I mean, we have a lot of damage in the deck. Two Chaos Strikes. Uh, Aldrachi Warblades. So three out of our, what, eight cards is lethal. Otherwise, we just kill them over two turns with our hero power, too. There we go. There we go. We'll show them what we got. Oh, man, that was actually close. <laughs> Man, I was worried when he top decked that Galakrond. Man, if there's ever, ever a card. Okay, I do like the Warblades against Hunter. That's good. All right, we'll, we'll try something like this. And yo, Entropy. Yo, what's up, Entropy? How's it, how's it going? <laughs> DH used Fell Magic and Glaive Mages use Magic? Works now? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Interesting. So two are guys. He's playing a face hunter, huh? So what's he going like face stalker hero power? Dude, this is like the nuts for him though. Turn one tour guide into turn two face stalker hero power. That's so good. What the heck, man? What the heck, man? Ooh, coin out the mage hunter. What if this is freezing trap though? Oh, that would have been nice to have. <laughs> So I don't have to burn my coin. No, this is fine. Hopefully it's no uh, um, pack tactics. So it probably is. So it looks like it's uh, explosive or freezing. Some hunters have been running pressure plate to deal with all the druids and paladins. So it might be a pressure plate as well. So we got to watch out for that. 
Megtherodon is getting rot dusted. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's just so many ways of killing Megtherodon. Uh, and Hunter. All right, let's test for the freezing or explosive here, I guess. So no explosive, so it's freezer or pressure plate. Interesting. Animal companion should re always summon Huffer, <laughs> right? Yeah, let's test the explosive. No explosive still, jeez. What the heck? Okay, so it is for sure freezing and pressure plate, right? Ah, oh, he might be running snakes if he's aggro. But I do want kind of like a dumb weak minion to test the pressure plate as well too. So I guess the, sh the shard shatter is kind of a dumb weak minion that I can cast a spell and test the uh, the pressure plate now. Most versatile is Yacht Rock. <laughs> You do like that Yacht Rock. And I don't really want to punch into one of these guys um, because it does give him another charge on his weapon. Um, and I want him to maybe not use his weapon this turn. Or maybe he uses it and then he just breaks it, you know, and then he doesn't get value from it. I like heavy rock more, but I figured that is not as versatile. That's true, that's true. Oh, and another shard shatter. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is too good. Yeah, so we silence. Shuffle some souls in. Cool, so now I got three in there, so I should have enough for this Mystic and Lapidary, even if I draw into one. Go something like this. Actually, you know what? I could have maybe swung in, because they do have this Warblades. Man, we're going to win without even having to attack into his minions. <laughs> and then we punch face, develop this Warblades. All right. It's not bad. Ah, uh, it is a freezing, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty sure it was one of these secrets. <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping it was like a duplicate pressure plate or snake trap, because I know for sure he has the freezing. I don't know what the other one is. It could honestly be any of, it's probably not pack tactics. So it's probably pressure or snake. And yeah, do it again. Yeah, that's true. I could. I could. Maybe we do it. He didn't play this, though. Interesting. Oh, it was the pack tactics. Okay, I don't really care about these guys then. That's fine. Daddy's fine. Yeah, let's do it again. Because <laughs> we can. <laughs> get out of here. No, no, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a lot of damage oh, though with his eagle horn bow, yeah. but we have a lot of healing too with this weapon. And then we do have a lot of soul fragments in the deck too for even more healing. I might even want to wait to use this other attack until I can like double lapidary because that's going to be 10 damage and 10 healing. So maybe I do that. Yeah, maybe I hold out for this lapidary. Oh, dude, the ooze. Oh, man. Okay, that was clutch. That was pretty clutch. Wait, wait, do we have lethal here? <laughs> So five, six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen. I mean, we don't, but I'm still just gonna do it. <laughs> Get him down to three health and we're at full health. I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> 